good morning everyone thank you very much for checking out this video in this video i'm going to share with you again a very good magic of terraform how with the help of terraform you can code uh, your hub and virtual network and a full-fledged spock architecture right that's what i'm going to show you and as you can see you know i'm already done with firing all the commands in the terminal over here and right now the magic is happening everything which i have defined the code for over here in these files uh, they are being created on azure through the code which i have written so you know these are the things which you can see here on azure are being created uh, you know with that code which is there in these files now the first file is this main.ta file in which I have defined all these things. Let me just show them to you. So required providers and uh, you know the providers name everything is mentioned here in this main.ta file. Then we have a file named variables.tf in which I have mentioned all the variables I have used for this code. So there is this location, then username, then password is there and then size of the virtual machine right then we have uh, on premise .tf. so whatever data you have related to on premises you can define the code for that inside this file the way i have done it so i started with uh, you know defining the locations name then azure resource group name is this right uh, then i define the virtual networks name which is this okay and then uh, the azure subnet fine uh, then it's uh, it's the public IP address I defined the code for and you can see all the four variables here I've used for it then we have uh, this network interface which is on premise NIC right so random name will get allocated to this thing and then we have this IP configuration over here so all these things which I'm showing you you have to mention it in this on premise.ta file for uh, premise you are defining the code for in these files means suppose you have uh, you you got in a contract you got a contract from a big multinational company and they ask you to deploy or to migrate all the data they uh, that is traveling on their infrastructure on their company's infrastructure to microsoft azure then with the help of some very basic terraform codes and terraform commands you can make the things happen right so that's the third file you need to define the code for and you need to create and then define the code inside it so we have this network security group and these are some very basic commands you know which i have written over here so uh, how can you use how can you create subnet subnetwork how can you create security group using terraform so these are those commands right i've already covered all these things in my previous terraform lectures if you haven't seen them yet i would request you to go ahead and just check them out if you want this code definitely you can find it very easily on any of the microsoft platforms right you just have to type spock architecture uh, you know commands or how can we create Spock architecture using Terraform? That's what you can type in the Google and you will come across some various websites uh, in which you can find all these files and all these codes I'm showing you. All right, so we have the, this storage space then uh, OS profile, operating system profile, operating system profile for Linux. Then we have this public, public IP address. Uh, we have this virtual network gateways configuration defined here and then uh, comes the hub virtual network so inside it let me just show you what all things are present uh, so we have uh, this locals defined here we have this uh, uh, you know hub virtual network name present here then again a virtual network uh, i have created using the simple code then a sub network has been created again another sub network has been created for the second virtual machine then one more sub network so there are, there are in total three sub networks uh, we have created and you can see uh, the ip address the address prefixes for each one of them is different so it's traveling on 224 it's going to get created on 64 and this will be created on 32 right then we have address azure rm network interface so hub nic nic 
IP configuration needs to be mentioned and then comes the virtual machine uh, code right so that's the code which is going to help me in creating the virtual machine with this name on Azure right you should have a very good understanding of all these lines of code if you really want to understand Terraform right so that in case you know you can get the code from anywhere as I've told you in the beginning but if in case the uh, you know there are some requirements which the company mentioned and then you have to you'll have to then make some changes in the code until the time you have a proper understanding of each and everything you won't be able to uh, you know make the required changes so it's better if you can just go through the coding lines once and once you are through with that you can make the required changes for example if the company asks you to create for it a resource group for the virtual network gateway having name uh, let's say the company's name is ericsson and it asks you to create a resource group with name ericsson dot resource right or ericsson resource so what you can do you can just change the name over here to ericsson resource and you will you know the rest thing will be done with the by terraform so Terraform is going to do the other things, the remaining things. Fine, so that's the code uh, I have defined in this hub virtual network .tf. Then similar code is there present in this uh, fifth file also named hub mva, right? Okay, so we have this uh, resource group here, network interface, IP configuration, then virtual machines code is there, uh, storage image, uh, OS disk, then OS pro operating system profile is mentioned. Then we have this virtual machine extensions, fine. And then we have this route table. So uh, that's the code with the help of which you can create full fledged route tables you need for your database uh, on Azure. Right, then we have these codes which is going to help us in routing the data to SPOC1 and SPOC2. These are the two SPOC files, SPOC1.tf and SPOC2.tf. SPOC1 contains, uh, uh, you know, this code, locals, then uh, resource groups name, virtual networks name, you know, all these things. Right, and then we have this SPOC2.tf which contains these things. So the code in both the SPOC files is uh, you know almost the same there are some differences but yes almost the code is almost the same in both the files now what I did was I after defining all these uh, files and uh, you know the required code in all these files I downloaded Terraform let me just show it to you so I downloaded Terraform this Terraform executable file from the internet and then I put it inside the same folder in which all my uh, TF files are present. Okay, so uh, in total, in the beginning, I was having uh, main.tf, this, this, this. Let me just count the number of files. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So including Terraform.executable, Terraform's executable file in total in the beginning, I was having seven to eight files, right, eight files in total. And all the, after defining all the files, you know, I just fired some basic Terraform commands in the terminal of VS Code, which is connected to my Azure portal. So let me just show the commands also to you guys. I think I will be able to see it. Okay. If they are not visible, not at all an issue. You just have to open a terminal and then you have to connect it to your Azure uh, account. In, in case you know you are using more than two subscriptions on your Azure account. So how are you going to connect it to the one which uh, you know on which you want to create virtual machine or you can say with the help of which you can create with, you, with the help of which you want to create virtual machines on Azure. So what exactly you have to do, let me just tell you that. So I need to open a notepad for that. Let me just, uh, uh, you know, tell you the commands you can start with. So az login, and then dash dash tenant, and then your tenant ID will come. Okay, so after, uh, you know, this command, after this command, automatically your VS code will get connected to that subscription or the tenant id of which you're going to mention here in the command and once it is connected with that subscription 
you can simply uh, you know check the format of the files whether everything you have defined in these files is good to go or not so terraform fmt is the command for checking it then after uh, you know firing the command you can use init command for initiating terraform right and once you are done with initiating terraform uh, you can very easily use this command terraform apply uh, sorry terraform plan dash out uh, then your main dot tf apply okay that's the command you can fire for planning out everything and finally for applying the changes the command is terraform apply or if you want to simply mention the name of the main file also so you can do it like this right so these are the five commands you can use for uh, you know creating everything you have defined the code for inside these files uh, are directly on your azure so i'm getting an error over here let me just tell you the error so it says um, the request size for resource this is currently not available in location east us zones so the size which i defined uh, you know in the code it's not available at this location so what we can do we can simply change the location to something else like i have in the code it is mentioned east us so if you want you can change it to central india or east asia or something like that okay you can first try to create a virtual machine of this size right and after that you can uh, you know check whether you are able to create that virtual machine at a particular location that you have selected or not while creating it fine if you are uh, able to create it what you can do you can simply uh, replace east us with that particular location and automatically this code will work and it is going to give you everything whatever you require so you know let me just refresh this portal once and show you what all things i have got from the code i just fired in the vs code so uh you know i'm getting just a second yeah so i'm getting all these things over here network watcher central india no this is not not the one uh okay hub gateway hub open premises hub virtual network right all these things which you are able to see over here the code which i defined in this these files have created for me on azure so it's very simple you know that that's how terraform makes it very simple uh for anyone to code anything on azure right that's the way we can automate anything on azure using terraform i would like all of you to just try out these uh, you know codes and you know these files in case you find the tutorial interesting do let me know in the comment section below i would be uh, you know eagerly waiting for your comments and your feedback thank you so very much for joining me at this time in this tutorial for anything for any help you can contact me directly on the number which is getting reflected on your screen and in case you need any help and you do not want to uh, put it on my whatsapp you can just share it with me on my uh, you know in the description section below thank you very much for joining me thank you very much for checking out this video bye bye take care and have a great day and